Hi guys, I wanted to do a little bit of a haul. I feel like I haven't done them in a while. And yesterday I went to Marshall's, uh, Target, and Ulta. I got a few things from each store. I've been looking at um, switching some of my products as well as just looking for some props for future ASMR videos. So maybe you can help me out and tell me if, <laughs> if it's a good sound or not. And also, um, well, I'll start with my bracelets. I've actually got them a couple of years ago. And ever since I started um, trying to make friends with moms, it's been a while. I met one mom on like our first mom date and she always wears very beautiful clothes. And she had these, these bracelets with charms. And like the whole night she's like, oh, 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 and I'm just like, keep looking at, like I kept staring at her bracelets they were not these ones they, these are from target and they were like $13 one I believe and I got two of them and um hers was probably <laughs> probably like Tiffany or something but I'm not sure I just remember the little clicking and it just draw my attention so much and I'm just like oh it's so pretty I like the sound so and I never had like charmy bracelets um <laughs> so Another th another thing I I've been going to church and there's one old lady she's probably like in her 80s and she comes there with her um, daughter and she's always like wearing white pants um, white cardigan with like a top inside chunky earrings rings and then she always has these charm bracelets same thing probably more like gold or silver and she just sits there and just kind of jiggles them around and I'm just like see i see you lady okay like i see you that's very cute like i want to be you when i grow up <laughs> okay so anyway so i got these in target a few years back and i'm obsessed i couldn't wait to open these i got these at um marshall's yesterday for 99 and these are these uh rollers hair roll rods they're kind of bandy and you will see what i did with them they're like this they're bandy i um I've been seeing this one channel pop up all the time with shorts with Lady. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember her name. And she um, made and she shows how to curl her hair. And she does these DIY rollers. So you put four rollers in their sock and then you roll them into two sections. So my hair today is from that. Um, and it's still staying strong. I must say I do enjoy I do enjoy this swoop like it's so hard to make this nice swoop It's always like gets cranked or cut or something. I did feel like I need more um, Volume right here down down here Because all of the volume was kind of right here. So I might like play around with how I set it up next time but I must say I had it on with slightly wet hair for about an hour and a half and I blow dry it and then just let it cool off while I was doing my makeup and setting up for videos and stuff. So that's the result. I think it's amazing. I'm going to do this all the time. I swear to God. So thank you for the tip lady. Sorry, I forgot her name. So in Ulta, I actually had some free points and they had like a little sale yesterday, like $10 off, I think, of things. If you purchase like $40. So I wanted to always try this mineral matte screen by Goop. I've heard amazing things about it. I like that it's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as well, mostly. I've been trying to kind of push away a little bit from all of the chemical sunscreens for now at least so i wanted to try it so today i am wearing it and it, it does help with a lot of oiliness and that's been my problem with all of the sun lotions they're all freakishly oily like i'm literally like a glass face walking around just shining <laughs> so anyway for me to make it uh, 40 bucks i had to purchase something else so i got some nail files and then i found out that i had some points to make it all free so it ended up being free for me which is great i had no idea i had so many points i feel a little bit embarrassed because i feel like i spend too much money if they give you free stuff right okay it says meet your mat it's small and this tube was 38 dollars okay so it's like slightly tinted 
it does get dissolved very quickly and it does it does actually like spread out very well you can see there's no shimmer and it just kind of disappears right away it does have like I don't know this velvety texture which I really like I don't see too much of oiliness but I did also apply a mattifying um, moisturizing uh, tinted moisturizer and then I also put powder on top but I haven't put powder in about hour and a half now so it's doing okay for now so in Target I got another of the lightening system <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit more highlights I feel like it's time I'll just do touch-ups right here at the roots again I'll just do my crown like I always do my back is like super dark but this way it's been working out for me so kind of inside my hair is dark but like outside here my crown up to here um, just like front sides here and just a couple of pieces underneath um, so when I wear a ponytail it has a little bit of highlight underneath so anyway so I'm going to be doing that soon maybe next week or something I'm not sure but I wanted to get it I get this one or another one also by L'Oreal I think but honestly they all work similar and in Target I also got these things I really like how they sounded I thought for a summer video it might be nice <laughs> um, that's it for Target and Ulta by the way so then I went to Marshalls and I found this brand. I've been really looking for um, different types of soaps, specifically, without that sulfur. Hold on, I'll tell you. I got these three items. So I've been looking not to have sodium laureth sulfate. I've watched a few of like um, organic skincare dermatologists or something, and they are saying when this is like one of the top um, ingredients it's it's like not the best to have in your soaps and shampoos so i've been kind of obsessing <laughs> of finding items that don't have those uh, especially like for small children so i found this soap by this brand ella mason it looks like a cognac bottle to me <laughs> So they have ingredients of filtered water, coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable glycerin, argan oil, vitamin E, aloe leaf extract, fragrance blend with plant extracts and or essential oils. Cruelty free, made with vegetable oils, long lasting, no SLS parabens or phthalates. So this one was $4.99 for this huge bottle, 16.9. This uh, fragrance is lavender aloe, and I liked it. It's um, very neutral, very pleasant, and also very natural smelling, which I liked. It says traditional French milled. I'm not sure what that means. The bottom line is I got a little bit obsessed by this brand, and I'm going to look it up, and I'm going to look for more items, maybe like shampoos or body washes from them. And then I re literally had to scoop out, like, I had to literally search through the whole aisle of lotions <laughs> in Marshalls um, to find some kind of lotion by them because I also wanted a heavy hand cream. Like, I don't know what's happening with all the hand creams. They're so flimsy. There's no actual, like, rich, buttery, like, <clears throat> like heavy lotions that, like, really moisturize your hands and really stay. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened. Everything like evaporates and it's non-greasy. That's cute. But my hands, I don't like I don't mind them to be greasy because otherwise they feel very dry. So I'm trying again. A la Maison. A la Maison de Provence. De Provence. 
coconut cream, moisturizing shea butter and organ oil hand and body lotion. This one is $5.99. I'm going to try it out. I did peel it just to smell recently before this, but I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it with you first time. I love how huge this tube is too. Very good size. We'll put on the same hand. It's very much coconut cream smelling. Mm -hmm, very luscious, I love it. It is more watering, but it does feel really good. Feels nice and nourishing. I do need to double up for sure. By the way, I can already tell I need to double up. I'll have to find a perfect lotion some other place. I just like to lather on lotion, you know? Okay, that feels good. Maybe I just didn't use enough. Okay, it feels nice and moisturized. I think it looks looks that way too, right? Mm -hmm, feels good. Very clean. Doesn't have like a weird after smell, you know, it happens sometimes. And so same thing, thing uh, here, they do have alcohol as a third ingredient, I don't know any other words, sorry. But the fourth ingredient is avocado oil, then it's shea butter, then fragrance blend with plant extracts or essential oils. Basically, I'm going to be looking into this brand, a la Maison, because I love how natural everything is, everything they have, it has no SLS, no parabens, no phthalates, it's cruelty free, recyclable, uh, with natural oils, with vegetables, oils, and it's some kind of French formula, they say, so it's, I don't, I don't know, I'm like low-key really obsessing about that, <laughs> it's too, it's really nice. And then to my guest bathroom, I, I needed to get something that's more like, a little more fancy, so this one's $5.99. And it's Sand and Fog. I've heard about this brand. It's inspired on the California coast. This is Santal and Cardamon. So it's a scented hand soap. With aloe, it's paraben-free as well. I really enjoy the smell. I feel like it's it smells rich and very luxurious, you know, last natural, but it does smell amazing. Okay? Yeah, it's... Mm. It smells great. Centaur and cardamom. It's like, it's an expensive smelling soap, you know? And that's what I want for my guest bathroom. The rest of my bathroom skin stay more clean formula uh, because we use it literally every day. But the guest bathroom, like, almost never use it. <laughs> so this thing was kind of <laughs> unplanned purchase. But I've been going through their, like, um, shoes clearance whatever sale rack and I found these ones I've never heard of this brand but I'm gonna look it up because I got obsessed with it this one was $35 and uh, let me show you the other one it's, it's, it's without the tag and uh, this is such a comfortable shoe I'm trying to find myself like a beige shoe that's super comfortable that's appropriate for dresses and for jeans, like to wear with jeans or capris or shorts even. Uh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to find something that won't hurt me. Recently I've been having a lot of um, foot pain, like on my, my heel. I feel like I'm getting plantar fasciitis or something like that. I've always had problems a little bit with my feet. I like to massage and all that stuff, so I'm very specific about the shoes I wear because if they're not comfortable, zero chances I'm gonna wear them. So I don't even try to buy anything pretty anymore. It has to be comfortable first and then maybe pretty. So I was really excited to see this one. Um, it has a nice arch support, which is almost always missing in current shoes. If you have any kind of issues with your feet whatsoever, you have to have an arch support. This one has a great arch support. 
It also has a cushioned, cushioned heel. You'll see. Look, it's literally like memory foam almost. See? This is the brand. I am totally obsessed. I'm going to look them up. I'm also one of those people who, if I like um, a certain kind of item, I'm literally going to get in a couple of colors. Like, no shame. <laughs> I do this all the time. All of my flip-flops are from the same, I think it's Skechers. Same. Little, I got them in white and then black. <laughs> jeans. Same thing. If I find one brand, one brand of jeans, I'm going to buy all colors from them so I can just wear it. So anyway, I like that these have Velcros, so you can actually open them. Plus, you can adjust the length itself, plus the Velcro. This one doesn't have a Velcro, but it does also have adjustments right here. All adjustments are great. So then, it does have a very nice arch support, which is something I'm really looking for now. And like, I don't buy shoes without it. And I feel like it looks cute. It might be a little bit outdated, but I don't care. It looked really good with the jeans, um, like picking out from under jeans. Then I lifted up the jeans and I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good with like capris and really any dress because it basically blends with my skin. So it looks like a nude shoe. I got these iPads for $3.99. They looked that, like they're gonna sound good. <laughs> so. I got them literally just for that, for an upcoming video that I'm going to be recording in a day or two. They looked so satisfying. Oh, Mila and Daryl are back. I love the little liquid pushing through inside. Anyway, these things I just like obsess over it because they look so cute, but you can really put them on your eyes <laughs> I'll do something like that in the video too Oh yeah, that's a nice sound So this is also a prop uh, I really might have not should have gotten it, <laughs> but I did I like to put the sound. And it's really this purse, $19.99. It opens up. Oh, it opens up like that. It's like a little, a little clutch. It has a chain here. But I got it for this kind of cork tapping sound. I just liked it. I don't know. I might keep the tag and I don't know. Think about it. So the last thing is also a prop. Also a purse. I might also keep the tag and I don't know. I might, I might end up returning it. I don't know. So anyway, this one is $29.99 by Rachel Ashwell. Ashwell. And it's a heavy purse made out of stones so these are rocks inside but I don't know I really like that it's made out of stone and I like the little sounds sometimes it might not be a winner and I just don't keep it either in the video or you know I might just have to return it but we'll have to see if it's a winner I'm definitely gonna keep it like if people react to it positively This is usually me in the store, literally. 
everybody's like looking at things and I'm like nope that's not how I do this I do it like that hmm that's that's a good sound you got me with me and the last thing um, was this ink pen, pen set for $3.99 for three pens because last time I got some from a dollar store and they are falling apart so they come in these three colors all of my favorite colors I might say <laughs> they're nice and floral okay, try writing something on the box here Hello there. How's your day going? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you up close. I like that it's not heavy, you know, like um, a beautifully light uh, shade of like black gray. So that's exactly what I want. It's by Vera Bradley. Okay, so that's that. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.